Welcome to the channel. I hope all of you are doing well. This video is for D3F mod and we're going to be taking a look at this board here. This is an expansion board and a replacement board that came with the original Ironclad DX to make your lives a little bit easier. We're going to be installing this into our Mr. FPJ along with this extension cable so that we can easily access our SD cards. Let me explain a little bit more. On the screen at the moment is a blueprint. That blueprint is of this particular board here. And this board here is an upgrade board for the original Ironclad DX that came out. We've done a tutorial video, you can see that on the screen. And basically this video here supplements the timestamp that is shown on the screen at the moment. So if you have not built your Ironclad yet, then basically ignore that part of the video that you could see and I will update the main video and just use this video here. If you've already bought your Ironclad DX and got it in a system up and running, then this this may be the video for you to help you install this and this. Let's go on a journey together. Before we get on with the install, let's have a quick look at my Mr. FPJ here and a brief problem statement so you can see exactly why this replacement B board is so essential if you've got a setup like myself. So this is my Mr. FPJ, it is an all-in-one solution, it is basically the lifeblood of my channel in terms of the cores and everything on here for a lot of the games we do, a lot of the videos we do are all based on this and it's absolutely wondrous system with the Ironclad DX board in, it has transformed the way I do my work as a content creator on YouTube. Um, let me give a quick demo here of what this is all about so you know you can see how good this is and why you may have the same problem that I have with the SD card so we're going to power it on just to make sure it works and as it boosts up it's absolutely wonderful on the right hand side let me just show you you have this little matrix screen for the pie hat you know that is phenomenal that really really is that's part of the pie hat that's part of the dx board we've got like a little slot that i'll demonstrate just very very briefly but you know let's bring the screen up let's bring the screen up of the game so where are we where are we uh game capture there we go no 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 yes there we go there we are so that is our mr fpj screen you can see that as i hit the keyboard that moves around and works so everything is working as it should be and you know the pie hat that's available internally on the system that you've got that has the output to the screen. The ability to use cards like this. Yeah, this is a GPC Rally game. This game here was created specially for the channel by a gentleman called WLS. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely fantastic. I love Rally X type games. You know, the system just keeps on getting better and better with what you've got. And, you know, you want the best internals that you have as well. So the work that D3S um, mod has done to give us this you know is absolutely phenomenal so we can see that this mister is working absolutely fine we're just going to power this off now i'm going to remove this because we don't want to be playing any more games for the time being and we should probably close down the screen as well so you can fully see what we've got going on all right so we're going to very carefully open this up and i've prepared a little bit ahead i have removed the screws so you don't have to watch the boring challenge of me removing all the screws and this is the mr fpj in the case you can see everything here but your problem is your sd card is basically buried all the way underneath here it is a real pain in the neck to get to you know we can eject that card if we carefully do it and you might have seen it just pop out there it certainly has literally just popped out a little bit there but it is a real real pain in the neck to get to so what we need to do is we need to take this board put the board in and you know replace uh the, the, the this b board that we've got and we, we should be in a good place to go we should be in a very very good place to go so anyway enough of me rambling on let's get to it This board in front of us has three components. You have got the snack adapter in the center of the board. You've got the jumper adapter here. This was the one that I had all the trouble with on the original install. If you look, that was the one mistake in the video that we do fix as the video goes on, where I put this in the wrong way around. So don't make the mistake that I did. And we've got the replacement B board and it comes on this nice sort of uh, flexi shell that it's in where you've got some outside bits here so i think what we need to do is we need to remove the outside shell we need to remove the snack adapter and we should be in a good place we've got some clippers if we need them if anything gets a little bit tight so what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully try and yes it does okay you can bend the outside frame off the outside frame removes 
as you can see there, all that bit flew a little bit hard, didn't it? All right, boom, let's do it. In fact, let's do that one first. There you go, and they must be perforated because they very gently, they very gently fold off. Actually, that one's a little bit tougher. There we go. And we've got the perfect, we've got the perfect replacement B board. So the Snack 8 adapter needs to come out as well. So we're going to very gently twist this. Yeah, you can feel it go, you can feel it go. And it will come round and it will come out. And yeah, a little bit of edge there and a little bit of edge there. So I think we can trim these down with our snips. I want to very carefully do this. I'm not sure we actually need to. In fact, you know what? That's come out so well and we're very close to these lines here. We're very close to um, the lines we've got. I'm not going to bother because I think we're in a good place with that. I think we're in a good place. We can always revisit otherwise, but that is extremely clean. And that fell apart very, very easy um, with a little bit of effort. So we now have basically this one component we're going to put in. This is already in our Mr. FPJ, the little board that gave us all the trouble the first time we did it because I made a mistake. It was not a problem with D3F mod and the snack adapter we've already got as well. Um, you know, we, we could actually probably use the snips on this end bit there. But yeah, we're in a good place. We are ready to roll. The whole purpose of this B board is to fix the problem with the SD card that we've got down here to put it in a much more accessible position at the top. And I can already see challenges trying to get that damn SD card out. So we're gonna go very slowly, very carefully, and do our best to do this in a single take, so to speak, without things going too wrong. The only thing I've done is remove the power from the Mr. FPJ, so we have no accidents. All right, so we're gonna carefully lift that out, and you get a little bit better access to the card. We might be able to see if we can't slide that out too easy, but we can use these, these little clippers to do this, and that will probably take the card out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's still tight, it's still tight. And we dropped it, but we can grab it again. And there we go. This is all the games, a lot of the games we play at the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Let's put that down there. We are going to need that very, very shortly. So, we have this little extender, this little extender cable that needs to go in. And probably the first thing we need to do is try and very carefully put this in. And that's very, very flexible. So you've got a lot of bend there, which is good. But we're going to very carefully try and put this in without having to take everything out. It might work, it might not, but I'm giving it a go so you know how to do this. No, we're going to have to take the board out. There's a little bit of demonstration on, you know, why we do this, why we test things. But no, that board is going to have to come out for this. So we're basically going to have to remove that screw, that screw, and a couple of other screws. And it shouldn't take too long to do. It was worth trying, though. It was worth trying so that, you know, you at home, you at home could see how easy this was. That unclips very, unclips very, very easy. And we take you out. And it's only a few more seconds to be able to do this anyway, so it's absolutely not a problem. Whoops, I hit the mic, I hit the mic. We don't want to be doing that, we don't want to be doing that. All right, so the mic is now back in place. I'm working in a very, very confined space to give you this overhead video that you can see. Well, you can see what I'm doing, and you can see me doing this live as well. So it would also give you an idea of the amount of time this takes. So that will lift out and that will be replaced with the new one very soon. And it's going to be a case of that needs to come out there. Come on, these should be magnetic. There they go. There they go. And then we'll take this one out here. And that can go there. Okay, these columns turn. I need a different adapter for this, so to speak. I think it's you. Yes, it is. I did try the shortcut. We did try the shortcut of basically thinking, yeah, we can do this without having to re remove everything. But no, this is okay. This is okay. 
and D3F mod, I remember you told me that we can tuck these cables. We never did it on the main video, and I've got so many other cables that I'm probably not going to do it this time as well. But these cables are flexible, so they have the ability to tuck underneath this board as well to save you room. But right, let's carefully lift that up. So we'll probably want to remove that connector at the back. And now we can carefully lift this up, and it says top. You can see the word top there. That will slide in. To there perfect absolutely perfect so move all the cables out of the way that i've slightly touched and we get our two standees and we're going to put them back in again i'm rather excited to be doing this because you know and you can feel well that's a strange thing to get excited about but you know generally it was a pain in the neck i have dropped this sd card into the bowels of here and it took me a long time to get sorted it really really did you know it was so hard um to get out it it, it was just difficult it really really was all right two more to go or two more screws to go and we are almost back in business let's put this on here so this case, if you don't know where it is, it's one of the ones from C64X. There are, it ha they have a vendor. If you go to C64X's website and my retro computer, I believe it's called, and you can get this case for yourself. And the beauty of it is, the beauty of this particular case is everything just fits in. And the uh, the DX board was a little bit taller than the original board, and it just goes. It just it's it's like they were made for absolutely each other you know you've seen me open this up you've seen me put it together in the other video as well so yeah you know there, there's a lot of perfection that's gone into this in making everything hang together exactly as it should all right so the first thing we want to do is probably put this back on so that can go down there come on come on come on let's get this right there's plenty of flex in this cable so i'm not too worried about this at all and that's down perfectly. Is it? Is it? Have I lined that up correctly? Let's just do a double check. Yep, I have lined that up correctly. Perfect. All right, then we need to get the new B board, and that is going to plug in on top. Now, we have this little bit here that wants us to lift this. So we're going to lift that, and then we are, in fact, no, we'll do that at the end. We'll do that at the end. So very carefully, and this shouldn't be that hard to line up. So you've got two pins there and four pins there. They go either side here. Notice the slight gap you've got there. That should slide in absolutely perfectly with the two pins here. Basically, these two pins here right at the edge there. You know, very similar to how we had before. All right, so we're going to put you in there. Okay, I'm going to just carefully look to make sure all the other pins are lined up. Goes down, fine. And, uh, and that, that fits absolutely beautifully. That really, really does. Alright, so that can go back on there. We will put the power back in a moment. In fact, that can go back now. That, that can go back now. Yeah, that's fine. We've only got a couple of screws to do. We'll put this in there. And obviously our device is still powered off at that point. And we put the new SD card or the SD card in its new home. And look at that. That is absolutely glorious with that up here. It really, really is. Yeah, that is going to be so much more easier to access, so much more easier to manage. And it doesn't cause a height problem because you've still got this memory board here that is higher than the replacement B board. So yeah, I think that is going to work absolutely fine. All right, of course, I am aware there is one more thing we've got to do. I'm saying, so, oops, don't want to drop the screw. I'm saving the the last bit to right to the end. And you may be thinking you could cut this video, you could speed things up a little bit. Yes, I absolutely could. However, I choose not to do this because I'm showing you how long it actually takes to do and the entire process. And we pretty much did this with the uh, DX board uh, install as well from start to finish. All right, so that is now going to very carefully 
slide in there. Right, so that sits all the way home. That goes in by about two millimeters, I would say, maybe two and a half, but two millimeters roughly. And then that little black clip will close down. And that is it. That is that's ready to roll. So the power button for the Mr. FPGA is there. Theoretically, we can just push that power button. In fact, you know, what we'll do, what we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do some video magic as well. Um, right, I just need my mouse for this to get over here. Right, we are going to bring up the Mr. FPGA screen, I think. Are we going to bring that up? Why is it not coming up? Yeah, right, that's our Mr. FPGA screen. So theoretically, when I push this button, it will boot off the SD card. Here we go, here we go. Double fingers crossed. And that's our Mr. FPGA working, D3F mod. You have nailed this, you have hit this out of the park. And just for final proof that we are in a good place, we're gonna put this in here and that will boot. Once the Zaparu core has loaded or the Zaparu process has loaded to actually do this, and we can eject it actually as well. Look, pops out just a little bit there. And there is our GPC rally that's loaded into our Mr. FBJ that now has the SD card present on top. This is a great modification to something that was already brilliant, something that was already great. And you know, it's uh, I'm just removing the game capture here. You know, it, it's absolutely brilliant that you know you've got the designer uh, D3F mod who works on all of this. And you know, this board fixes the problem of losing that damn SD card in there. And you've seen how easy this is to put together. You really, really have. So here we are at the end of the video. This board here is an excellent upgrade to your Ironclad DX. It shows that D3F Mod is always on the lookout of ways that he can improve his product, ways that he can enhance the journey for the Mr. FPJ, and honestly, being able to easily get the SD card out and manage and use your SD if you want to physically take it out of the system is an absolute godsend. If you've got big hands like me, then it was such a struggle before. All of you take care. All of you look after yourselves. D3F Mod, thank you again for your trust in me and allowing me to do this video for you. And I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.